Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. My mom cheated on my stepdad and says my brother is her only kid now. Hi all, the title may sound like something else but I will explain. I, 20F, gave my stepdad, 52M, proof that my mom 42F was cheating on him and that it wasn't just an emotional affair like we all thought. Reason I did it was because she involved my 12 year old sister and guilt tripped her so I decided I would step in and show him, when I was younger, my mom asked me to make her a Facebook account using one of my several emails. I didn't naturally forgot about it until recently when she asked me to reset the password and let her in. At this point, it was known by stepdad that she cheated but in emotional terms. I asked her why and she said she only needed to check messages. I later showed him and he read through them and confirmed she had unprotected intercourse. She didn't know he read them or that I showed him. He made her delete her personal Facebook and he deleted his. He looked her straight in the eye and asked if she had another and she swore up and down that she didn't. When she saw I was alone in the living room, she tried bribing me $100 and asked me to delete it for her. The following night he got her to confess that it was a physical affair. She immediately suspected me but he told her it wasn't and he had hired someone. In the morning, he left for work only to come back two hours later to cry in bed and take his meds. He told me and my younger siblings that he wants to leave the city. Start fresh and that I'm welcomed to come along. My siblings, 11M and 12F, said I was like the mother they never had as our mom never showed us love nor taught any of us anything. Always put work before us. Stepdad invited mom to come along and said if she really loved him and wanted to reconcile then she would move with us and start fresh. She agreed. My older brother 26 gave my stepdad new info on how she would visit AP when they worked together. Stepdad asked her and she denied again until she finally confessed to that as well. I got a notification that my mom tried slash got into my Apple account on a new phone. I confronted her and she denied it. Stepdad took away the spare phone from her and this morning she told him she doesn't want me to come along with them. I started crying and so did the kids. She texted my other older brother 24 that he's her only child and she hopes he will never betray her like we did. She doesn't know that he also hates her. I blocked my mom and considered her dead to me. I don't know what to do if I'm not able to go with them. The kids said they needed me and they're the only reason I was coming in the first place. I'm also angry that mom thinks we betrayed her when she was caught cheating. TLDR mom says we betrayed her and she only has one child now because she was caught cheating. Your stepdad should be telling her she can't go because she's continuing to do what she got in trouble for, she needs to get the boot, not you. Either way, she's out of your life which is really good. TBH it's the mother saying she doesn't want Op to go with them, not the stepdad. I know that. I'm saying the stepdad needs to kick mom to the curb. Your mother is a dick. I have a couple of good responses to this but I don't wanna get in trouble. When a comment is succinct and to the point, there is no need to elaborate on it even further. You are what you eat. Smiley face. Don't ducking disrespect dicks like that, FFS. More than that, she's a huge Richard. Is your stepfather the bio dad of those other two kids? Are you in school or working? There's five of us in total. 26M, 24M and me 20F are not his bio kids. We also live together. I just babysit the younger ones 12F and 11M. These two are his bio kids, a lot so I'm constantly almost at their house. I babysit MF 8am to 6pm because they do online school. I have been working on my FAFSA and need mom's info but she refused to give it to me as she doesn't trust FAFSA. This was before the whole cheating thing. If it helps at all, FAFSA literally just uses information your parents have already filed in their taxes. So she's not revealing any new information. Also, no one will ever see any income information besides financial aid counselors, 
and they see so many people's info and frankly, richer people's info. Also, if your mom and stepdad are legally married, you'll need to include his income information anyway. He may be able to get you the info you need if they file joint taxes. Op, if you can't convince your mom, there is a way to file for financial independence on FAFSA. Someone at your school's financial aid office will know the process. It's normally very very difficult, the only scenarios I know of where it's been granted are when a parent is actively dying or when there is proof of abuse or being disowned. Sounds like you might have the latter, ESP if there's anything in writing, so def look into this. Be very careful talking to anyone at school financial aid. Find a counselor who knows how they work so you can minimize any parents related to you loop. The lower the total parent income the better. So less parents is better. Just a note, you do not need to file your stepdad's info on FAFSA. My parents are divorced and my mom is remarried. My mom had primary custody and she is the only one I had to put down. Minimize parental income as much as you can. I did this when I was in college. You just have to prove you support yourself and file your own taxes. I took my lease and tax return to my financial aid office and they helped me. I earned some grants when I did it. You need to get away from your mother. You will need independence for that. It may come through school, but please do not take out student loans unless you're certain about what you're going to do and it makes financial sense. Some is living with one of your brothers and finding a temporary job a possibility? My brothers, 26M and 24M, actually live with me. I am over at my parents' house a lot because I babysit MF from 8am to 6pm. Weekends are my only days off and even then I have to babysit when they go out because my 11 years old brother needs to be watched. He was recently diagnosed with epilepsy and has seizures. Effective immediately, let the bitch find other people to babysit on weekends. Do not go to their house again on weekends to help. She burned that bridge too. Why is there not an adult watching these kids? You shouldn't have to be a stay-at-home mom and tutor at this age, when is it going to be time for you? Not saying she should have to because it is a lot. She's 20 years old though so she's for sure old enough and seems responsible. Update, my mom cheated on my stepdad and says my brother is her only child now. NSFW. Hi all, I'm sorry for not updating for a while. I have been attending therapy and dealing with the drama. My stepdad has changed his mind so many times on wanting to leave and then stay and then leave and then stay. I think he wants to stay with her as he wants the kids to grow up with both parents until they turn 18. We had a family meeting shortly after my post where mom was supposed to apologize to us. She only ever addressed both of my older brothers and not me. I ended up leaving very angry and she later cried and tried to manipulate me into forgiving her. It was only after my stepdad got on his knees and begged me to forgive her. I did but now I regret it. She said she would change but now too long ago my brother and I got into a fight and she told him see how they are? They betray you like they betrayed me, talking about me and my oldest brother. She also told him she would never forgive us and will forever hold a grudge against us. I broke down completely and have been having intense self-ending thoughts. Recently at the end of my tunnel were my little siblings and now it's all dark. I don't see a future and I'm scared I'm falling back into the place where I attempted to self-end over 10 times. I can't fully open up to my therapist as we do therapy outside and over the phone I'm never alone in the house. I took a good amount of SS of her convos with AP as requested by my stepdad but not all of it as it was more than 1000 messages. I also gave him access to the account after he told me that he would take good care of it. Guess what? He didn't and she erased the convo from the archived messages. I logged out all of the other devices and tried recovering the messages through downloading Facebook info but it's not there anymore. Does anyone know how else I can recover? Stepdad wants them for future divorce but I only have a few SS. Other than that it's been pretty okay. He found out the reason she did it and let's just say it wasn't a good one. She's still a post compulsive manipulative liar. 
I just want to help stepdad with the messages and be done since they're staying in the state now. I'm sorry if this post is all over the place. I've been having insomnia and depression. My meds aren't working either and I'm not eating so brain is foggy. Thanks all for the advice previously. TLDR, stepdad forgave cheating mom for kids and she deleted 90% of the evidence. Now I'm trying to recover it for him while my mental health deteriorates. Stop worrying about this. Take care of yourself. How to set healthy boundaries, 10 or examples plus PDF worksheets. Your stepfather is obviously manipulated or weak or has his own reasons for keeping the family together. And why does the evidence matter? He saw enough evidence and he can either believe it or not, proving with more evidence isn't going to do anything. And if he didn't safeguard his own evidence that's his and not your business. So work with your therapist and open up about how you're struggling, let go of trying to fix anything. See if you can get support from your brother or both brothers that what your mother is doing is wrong. I just tell your mother I did what I thought was right and I'm not going to fall for your manipulation. Right now I'm having trouble with ideation and if you hate me enough not to care about my own well-being, you're not my mother anymore either. That would be sad but whatever is true it's true and you need to deal with it. Maybe you can get support from your stepfather who should at least be appreciative that you tried to do the right thing. The problem in these situations is that the person doing what's right is sometimes the one who suffers. Because there's a structure, a pattern, a dynamic and it always wants to go back to the way it was even if it's worse. Tell your stepfather this has cost me a lot to try to do the right thing. I didn't think what my mother was doing was right and so I told you and now she's disowned me and pitting us all against each other. Right now I'm just struggling with trying not to harm myself and I could use your support if you're not going to hold my mother accountable at least try and help me stay stable. The point is get support from whatever friends or family you can, let go of the things that don't belong to you, try as hard as you can to ignore whatever toxins your mother is spewing towards you gray rock. Drink a lot of water, try and eat healthy food and keep your blood sugar up, take long walks, find out if there's some place else you can stay. See if your older brother will help you mentally and physically. What should breathing feel like? If your mother is a narcissist, this YouTube channel has been very helpful for people. 12 signs you've experienced narcissistic abuse. Dr. Amini's YouTube channel on narcissistic abuse. Emotional invalidation, a form of emotional abuse. How to communicate your feelings. The reality is that the one thing you will never hear from her is an apology like this one, how to apologize. You sound like a good person, so don't set yourself up for failure by expecting her to take responsibility or to do anything other than deflect and turn herself into the victim. What is Davo? Keep your head held high and take yourself out of things that don't belong to you trying to help people who don't want to be helped or can't be helped. For the person who was cheating to get down on a knee and bag is a dynamic that you will need your therapist's help to one wind. But you are better off being 100% honest and just realizing that this shit show is not your circus and focusing on what makes you feel better and healthy and be mindful of your body as you respond to these provocations and simply let it go and learn how to be neutral in this difficult environment. And then leave as soon as you can. Listen to this. You no longer need to be involved or brought into their mess. Focus on yourself and your mental health. They are adults and let them make their final decision. Your mom doesn't deserve your forgiveness. She isn't apologetic and hasn't changed. Tell your stepdad to not guilt you into forgiving her. Your stepdad has his own issues and honestly isn't the best person to take advice from when concerning your mom. As a therapist this. This is such a wonderful response with so many helpful resources. I'll give your mom a hell of a time. I'm not good at relationships and honestly, it might make her a better person. Anyway. How old are you? Because my only advice is to try to fight to be with your stepdad only since he's the only one who doesn't seem like a tool. The stepdad sounds like the definition of a tool. Guy is a ducking moron. 
stay with an abusive cheating wife. Cry and beg on your knees on her behalf for her kids to forgive her. Keep all the kids in that toxic situation. Give abusive cheating wife admin control over all the evidence of her infidelity. He's a spineless worm and a dimwit. Op should leave every one of them in the dust. Family like that is like an anchor round your neck in the open ocean. LOL. What if the guy has no other choice to do these things? You always have a choice. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. No. The only reason he's staying is to not raise the kids in a broken home he's not trapped unable to leave and it's true you always have a choice some choices might seem impossible or difficult but there's always a choice. Fair enough, but staying together for the kids is almost always a logical fallacy. Children can sense when parents resent each other and it will likely affect them worse to be in a toxic family as opposed to getting separated slash divorced. Correct. Then why did you argue otherwise? Also without your mom knowing your stepdad needs to get a DNA test in the younger kids to make sure he's the dad because if she keeps cheating there is a chance he could not be the father. What trailer park y'all from? We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.